hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this fourth video of depreciation chapter we are going to understand the concept of this written down value method which is also known as reducing balance method diminishing balance method or you can also call it as declining balance method right so many different names are there you can call it whatever you like so in different books you will find different names fine so already we have covered in the previous videos this straight line method solved two problems on this and now we are moving towards our second method of depreciation all right and now in this video we are going to not only understand the concept but also solve problem on this right so let's begin the video now see here how simple this written down value method is but first thing that you have to understand it's the assumption behind this method once you get to know the assumption then you will logically understand the calculation of this method right so let's see business enjoys higher economic benefit from the use of asset in the initial years in the beginning years compared to the later years okay that's the assumption but now after reading things you will say sir we did not understand this completely okay fine let's take an example to understand this let's say for example you are in production business you have a factory and you know you have purchased a machinery for your factory right and let's say for example in the first year with this machinery you were able to produce 1 lakh units okay 1 lakh products in the second year let's say 95000 units in the third year let's say for example 90000 units in the fourth year 85000 units in the fifth year 80000 units okay this is what's happening now do you understand the pattern what's happening over here the economic benefit which you are getting from this asset is reducing over time in the first year you were able to produce 1 lakh in the second year you were able to produce 95000 in the third year 90000 yeah then 85000 80000 and so on like that yeah so what will happen the economic benefit which you will get from the asset in practical life it decreases over the period of time isn't it take your example only right if you have purchased an iphone this year okay iphone 14 pro or whatever so now what will happen in the first year the battery will last for the entire day okay and then in the second year what will happen maybe half day right so this is what happens over the time the asset degrades and the benefit which you get from the asset also degrades right it decreases isn't it yeah you might have to incur lots and lots of what repair and maintenance expenditure yeah you have to change the battery iphone's battery after let's say 3 or 4 years right maybe 2 years who knows right so that's what it is fine business enjoys higher economic benefit in the first year the battery was lasting how much for the entire day in the second year half right that's what happens business enjoys higher economic benefit in the first year you were able to produce 1 lakh units and then in the fifth year it was what 80000 something isn't it from the use of asset in the initial years higher economic benefit in the initial and then you know compared to the later years the benefit will be lower is that clear that's the assumption now because of this assumption what happens is the calculation is also based like that we charge depreciation high depreciation in the initial years and then as the time passes depreciation in year will be decrease okay annual depreciation will go on decreasing year by year is that clear so let's understand how this will happen see here in this method depreciation is calculated as a fixed percentage of the wdv of the asset now what is wdv it is the book value of the asset you all know na wdv means what i have been explaining this from the first video itself wdv is not equal to wdv method wdv is different wdv method is different okay wdv simply means book value written down value carrying value carrying amount okay we'll understand don't worry fine so fixed percentage is calculated on that and that's how the depreciation is calculated see here depreciation is equal to written down value book value carrying value carrying amount whatever you want you can call it into the rate into the rate now this rate will be given to you in the question and you also have to understand how to calculate this rate there's a formula for this okay but it's a little bit complicated but don't worry we'll understand in this video only how to calculate the rate also but that we'll discuss later first understand the concept properly fine so see here this wdv is also known as book value carrying value carrying amount fine wdv is not equal to wdv method these two are different things wdv method is the method of depreciation one of the method of depreciation wdv is nothing but book value okay whatever the value of the asset currently is in your books fine 
Now see here, WDV is equal to cost minus accumulated depreciation. Yeah. Now what is accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is nothing but whatever depreciation you have charged up till now. From the beginning to the current period, how much depreciation you have charged now, that's what accumulated depreciation is. Okay, let's just say in the first year you have charged 100 depreciation, second year also 100 depreciation, third year also 100 depreciation. So now in this third year, what is accumulated depreciation? Accumulate all that, 100, 100, 100, 300. In the third year, accumulated depreciation is 300. Is that clear? That's what accumulated depreciation is. So to calculate the WDV mathematically, what you have to do, you have to take the cost of the asset, cost of the asset minus 300 minus accumulated depreciation that's the mathematical formula for calculating wdv fine so now let's take an example to understand you know how the depreciation is calculated in this wdv method and then i will relate everything to you okay right so let's begin see here let's just say for example cost of the asset is fifty thousand. rate is 10 percent given in the question and then useful life is four years fine so now we have to depreciate this asset for four years okay so let's begin See, in the first, what will happen, you will take the cost, 50,000 is the cost. You have the rate directly, you will apply this rate on the cost. In the first year, in the first year, cost is equal to WDV, okay? It's always like that, cost is equal to WDV. So now, 50,000 into 10%, that's equal to 5,000, you all know that. I don't need to show you this in calculator, right? So, 10% on 50,000, that's equal to 5,000, 50 minus 5, that's equal to 45,000. Clear? Simple. So now this 45,000 is what? This is called as written down value, carrying value, book value. Okay. Now next what will happen? In the second year, this was at the end of first year. In the, you know, second year, at the end of second year, what will happen? You will have to calculate the depreciation, but not like straight line method. In straight line method, if you remember, we used to calculate 10% or 50,000 only again. Same depreciation every year. Here it's not like that. Here, you have to calculate this 10% on this WDV, on this 45,000, that's equal to 4,500, isn't it? Simple calculation. So see here, the meaning only, depreciation is calculated as a fixed percentage. Percentage is fixed now, 10% only, every year 10% only. But on what? Not on original cost, okay, not on original cost. It is on the WDV, see, you calculated this 10% on WDV, on 45,000. Is that clear? Yes, you got it. Now see, 45,000 minus 4,500, that's equal to 40,500, isn't it? Yes. Next, at the end of third year, what you will do then? Again, you will calculate the 10% depreciation on this WDV, the latest WDV, the latest book value, that is 40,500. So see, 10% on 40,500, that's equal to 4,050 rupees, right? So 40,500 minus 4050, that's equal to 36,450. Now this is the WDV. This is the written down value. Yeah. And then at the end of the fourth year, what will you do? You will calculate 10% on this WDV on 36,450. So that's equal to 3,645 rupees. Yeah. So after deducting that 36,450 minus 3,645, that's equal to 32,805. Right? Isn't it? Yeah. So this is how you have to go about this. Okay, you have to always calculate the depreciation on what? On written down value, the latest book value or the carrying amount or the carrying value, whatever you want, you can call it, right? So you see over here, written down value method means this, calculating the WDV on the latest WDV. But WDV is something else. It is just book value. Okay, it's different. WDV and WDV method is different. This method is called what? WDV method. But this one thing, this one number 45,000 is called as WDV. Understood? Easy. Now, how do you calculate mathematically the WDV? How do you do that? Cost minus accumulated depreciation. So now, how will you do this? Let's see, for example. Let's see, for example, we have to calculate this uh, WDV. Okay, 36,450. Mathematically, how will we calculate this? How will we calculate this? We have to take the cost, 50,000. Okay, 50,000 minus minus we have to subtract the accumulated depreciation whatever depreciation you have charged up till here how much depreciation you have charged three years depreciation you have charged yeah isn't it five thousand four thousand five hundred four zero five zero so all that in together is what accumulated depreciation okay so minus five thousand 
minus 4500 minus uh, 4050 okay three depreciation so if you subtract that 36450 this is the wdv so what did i do over here i took the cost i took the original cost i subtracted the accumulated depreciation and i got the wdv is it clear simple and straightforward you understood now what is the accumulated depreciation over here in the second year at the end of second year at the end of second year accumulated depreciation is 5000 plus 4500 that's equal to 9500 yeah 9500 so if i just you know take the cost 50000 minus 9500 accumulated depreciation then i will get the wdv at the end of second year yeah because i took the cost minus accumulated depreciation at the end of second year so that gave me the wdv at the end of second year understood easy fine so accumulated depreciation is nothing but depreciation from beginning to the current period to the current period if you're in the fourth year how much depreciation you have charged till now all that you have to plus all that you have to accumulate understood easy now right and then see here what's happening to depreciation in straight line method if you remember i told you in straight line method what will happen depreciation is same every year isn't it depreciation is same every year every year you will charge the same depreciation why is that because equal amount is return of every year in straight line method yeah you always calculate the depreciation on the original cost cost into rate isn't it here it's not like that here wdv into rate wdv into rate fine that's the difference so here what's happening to depreciation because of that if we are using wdv every time what's happening to depreciation every year every year depreciation is decreasing understand this in the first year it was 5000 in the second year it was 4500 in the third year it was 4050 you see in the fourth year it is 3645 you see every year depreciation is decreasing annual depreciation charge decreases from year to year understood so in the initial years in the beginning year what will happen depreciation will be higher it's higher now 5000 compared to the later years later years means see here at the end how much is the depreciation in the fourth year depreciation is 3645 so you see you understood this yeah so this is what will happen okay now one more thing we have to understand over here that is the total charge to profit and loss and we have to compare that with uh, you know straight line method also so let's do that okay now see here we have this total charge to profit and loss account in straight line method and wdv method now here basically what we are understanding is what will be the impact in profit and loss account if we choose this method or this method okay what is the total debit that will go in profit and loss account or you can say what is the total expense that will be recorded in profit and loss account if we go with either of these methods right so let's understand this and the pattern also we have to understand okay so see here let's say for example cost of the asset is 10,000 rate of depreciation is 10% and the useful life is four years fine so now how will you calculate the depreciation you all know how will you calculate the depreciation that is you know you will take the cost of the asset into 10% you have got 1000 as the depreciation and this 1000 will be same in every year that's what happens in straight line method same depreciation every year isn't it so 10,000 minus 1000 that's equal to 9000 return down value book value carrying value carrying amount whatever you want you can call that then 9000 minus 1 8000 8000 minus 1 that's 7000 7000 minus 1000 6000 yeah the same thing you will do right so now we have to understand properly depreciation and then you know accumulated depreciation repair and how much total the charge will be in profit and loss account so see depreciation will be same every year 1000 1000 1000 1000 yeah same depreciation will be there and let's just say you know you are what do you say uh, using the second accounting treatment yeah the most sophisticated one you are maintaining accumulated depreciation account if you are maintaining accumulated depreciation account then what will happen you will have this account so what will the value in this in the first year the value will be 1000 in the second year 1000 plus 1000 that's 2000 in the third year 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 that's equal to 3000 and then in the fourth year, 4,000. How 4,000? You just have to accumulate. Yeah, that's what you do, isn't it? I've already explained to you. What is accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is the depreciation from beginning to the current period. Okay, from beginning to the current period. Okay, so this is what will happen. So you see the pattern. Depreciation is same every year. It's constant. What is happening to accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is increasing at a constant rate. It is increasing at a 
constant rate see first it was 1000 in the second year it became 2000 it increased by 1000 yeah and then in the third year again it increased by 1000 yeah from 2000 to 3000 and then from 3 to 4 again 1000 so it is increasing at a constant rate by 1000 1000 yeah same by same amount it's increasing fine and then let's just say for example i have completely assumed this amounts yeah you all know now as you will keep on using the asset and as the time passes of course you will have to incur what repair and maintenance on your asset if you have a mobile also what will happen as the time will pass you will have to keep on incurring repair expenses on it if you have a bike or car or whatever it is what will happen as the time passes in the first year let's just say repair on your mobile phone is let's just say you know none only no none only okay no repair at all in the second year let's just say you had to replace something maybe battery for you know 2000 rupees right so like that and then in the third year maybe you know the display will be burned out or something like that will happen right so that's what happens repair keep on increasing as the time passes so let's say for example 100 200 300 400 okay i've, I've just assumed these figures fine so repair is increasing every year okay you have to repair the machinery keep on repairing the machinery and then total charge to profit and loss and let me tell you what happens to repair what happens to repair repair is a is an expense it's taken to profit and loss but why is repair being incurred because you have purchased the asset so it's connected it's connected okay it's connected because of asset you are repairing you are incurring this uh, repair expenditure fine so now what will go to profit and loss as an expense this depreciation will go 1000 as well as this repair so in total 1100 will go in the second year 1200 in the third year 1300 how is that 1000 plus 300 1300 1000 plus 400 1400 so you see what's happening over here if we are choosing the straight line method then the total charge to profit and loss will keep on increasing year by year because depreciation is constant and whatever repair will be there that will be keep on increasing year by year because it's always like that repair will keep on increasing year by year okay let's just say one two three four also it will be increasing only is that clear so total charge to pnl in straight line method will keep on increasing year by year fine so this is the pattern now let's understand about the return down value method now see here in return down value method what will you do you all know first you will take ten thousand okay first you will take ten thousand and then ten percent is the rate now so ten percent on ten thousand that's equal to one thousand yeah so ten thousand minus one thousand that's equal to nine thousand nine thousand is the book value return down value carrying value whatever you want you can call it then again next ten percent will be calculated on this nine thousand that's equal to nine hundred fine so nine thousand minus nine hundred that's equal to eight thousand one hundred then you will calculate ten percent on this eight thousand one hundred that's equal to eight hundred and ten then you will subtract this yeah 8100 uh, minus 810 that's equal to 7290 then on this 7290 you have to calculate 10 percent okay this is what you do 729 then 7 sorry 7290 7290 minus 729 that's equal to 6561 6561 you see this is how you will calculate in written down value method you have understood this right yeah now let's see what will happen in this uh, you know here in the total charge depreciation what's happening to depreciation in the first year depreciation was 1000 second year 900 third year 810 fourth year 729 you see depreciation is decreasing year by year i've already explained this to you depreciation will go on decreasing annual depreciation charge decreases from year to year and here also we saw 5000 4500 yeah it's decreasing year by year why is that so because of the assumption right business enjoys higher economic benefit in the earlier years compared to lower years so that's how also we will charge the depreciation that's how the you know the calculation logic is uh, you know uh, designed is that clear the formula and everything is designed fine so depreciation is decreasing year by year and then come to accumulated depreciation now accumulated depreciation of course accumulated depreciation will increase year by year because what do we do depreciation from beginning to the current period that is what we do so 1000 and then 1000 plus 900 that's 1900 1000 plus 900 plus 810 that's equal to 2710 uh, and then you know add up all of this yeah depreciation from first year till fourth year all yeah everything accumulated that's equal to 3439 
yeah so now here what's happening understand properly of course accumulated depreciation is increasing but it is increasing at a decreasing rate it is increasing first time first time it increased by 1000 from 0 to 1000 then in the second time it increased by not 1000 it increased by only 900 and then in the third year it increased by not by 900 by 810 and then in the fourth year it increased by 729 you see it is increasing from 1000 yes it has become 3439 but at a decreasing rate but at a decreasing rate is that clear yes and then repair again the assumed figures okay it is increasing year by year because that's what will happen naturally with all the asset practically okay repair charge will keep on increasing then the total charge what will happen to total charge now now understand total charge how do you calculate total charge see depreciation will go to profit and loss it's an expense repair is also an expense so that will also go to profit and loss yeah that's what we do 1000 plus 100 that's equal to 1100 900 plus 200 that's equal to 1100 810 plus 300 that's equal to 1110 yeah? yeah that's the way you have to calculate 729 plus 400 that's equal to 1129 okay so you can see over here total charge is also increasing it's also increasing okay and here generally it can also become constant also see here in the first it was constant 1100 1100 yeah almost this is what it will be okay generally either it will be constant or it will be increasing by uh, you know small small amounts why is that so because repair will be increasing year by year but depreciation will be decreasing year by year so that is why these two will be compensating each other and total charge will generally be constant or it will be increasing slightly okay so this is the summary depreciation in slm it's constant yeah same every year but in wdv it's decreasing year by year okay accumulated depreciation is increasing at constant rate yeah every time it's increasing by the same amount 1000 2000 3000 4000 the difference between each of them is 1000 it's increasing at a constant rate but here in wdv it is increasing at a decreasing rate fine increasing at a decreasing rate yeah i already explained that to you total charge to pnl in slm it's increasing yeah in slm it's increasing but in wdv total charge to profit and loss is increasing or generally constant okay increasing or generally constant generally same is that clear so this was the total charge that will go to profit and loss in slm and wdv method now let's understand how to calculate the rate of depreciation in this wdv method after that we'll move on to a problem okay so let's just understand how to calculate that rate now see here let's understand how to calculate this wdv rate in wdv method of depreciation it's really simple you just have to use this formula okay see this formula over here rate is equal to open bracket 1 minus nth root of residual value divided by cost close bracket into 100 okay that's what you have to do n means useful life rv means residual value or scrap value right so let's just take this example and understand how we are going to you know do this in simple calculator because in exam you will not be allowed the scientific calculator yeah you need simple calculator so how are you going to do this in simple calculator it's very essential and it's a bit complicated right so let's see it's not complicated once you do it four five times you will get the hang of it it's really simple okay let's start cost is 12 lakh for example residual value is 3 lakh useful life is three years what is the wdv rate of depreciation okay so just plug these values in that formula okay three here because the useful life is three isn't it that's the n now useful life and then all the values right so now how are we going to do this it's really simple first what you're going to do is first you are going to just solve this much okay you're just going to solve this much right so let's understand how you're going to do this first you just have to divide yeah 3 lakh divide by 12 lakh that's equal to 0 0.25 yeah see here that's the first step that's the first step okay 0 0.25 yeah the second step would be second step would be you have to press the root 12 times how many times 12 times so see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah 12 times i have pressed the root and this is fixed always you have to press 12 times okay 0 0.9966160648 okay that's the answer i'm getting now what you have to do is you have to do minus 1 from this so directly okay don't change or anything 
minus 1 is equal to okay that's what you have to do and this is fixed always one only okay and then what you have to do the fourth step divide by n what is n n means useful life here the useful life is three years so divide by three divide by three is equal to okay and then what you have to do the fifth step plus one always one okay it's fixed plus one is equal to i have not written is equal to is equal to over here but there is okay right plus one is equal to and then the sixth step is what you have to do you have to plus you know into is equal to 12 times into is equal to 12 times this entire thing okay this entire thing 12 times so into is equal to one time into is equal to two times right so three times four times five times six times seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so see what am i getting over here 12 times i have pressed into is equal to 0 0.629993313 right the same thing after this what you have to do is after this what you have to do is see when you have done this much now till the sixth step what you have done understand properly till the sixth step you have solved this much till the sixth step you have solved this much okay the value is what 0 0.629933413 okay this thing now what you have to do is you have to do one minus that one minus this one minus this but rather than writing over here and there what you can do is just do minus one you have to do one minus but you can do minus one but the answer will be negative ignore the negative sign ignore the negative sign okay we did this for convenience is that clear so this is the value 0 0.37006659987 right what we have solved now we have solved this entire thing we have solved this entire thing okay see seven step has been done minus one yeah we have done minus one in 200 in 200 to calculate the rate okay so just in 200 that's equal to 37.00665987 this is the wdv rate this is the wdv rate this is how you calculated understood simple now so this is how you have to do it okay 37.0666 you can just round it off you can just take 37 percent okay is that clear now we have to understand one more thing so let's understand that that is you know see here written down value at the end of useful life is equal to residual value yeah written down value whatever you will get at the end of three years it has to be equal to three lakh it has to be equal to uh, residual value so let's just prove that over here okay so see cost is 12 lakhs the same example residual value is 3 lakh useful life is 3 years and we have just calculated the rate that is 37 percent isn't it that is 37 percent so let's just use this uh, rate okay and calculate the depreciation so see here it's really simple see here 12 lakh into 0 0.37 okay i have rounded the percentage off so because of that there will be slight differences between the residual value and the written down value at the end of its useful life okay so 37 percent so that's equal to 4 lakh 44 thousand okay that's a depreciation of first year so now 12 lakh minus 44 yeah 4 lakh 44 thousand that's equal to 7 lakh 56 thousand yeah now on this 7 lakh 56 thousand you have to calculate the next depreciation of 37 percent into 0 0.37 that's equal to 2 lakh 79 720 you understand now how to calculate depreciation now in wdv it's really simple we have seen so many examples by now right so that's the thing now you have to subtract this let me just subtract this directly 7 lakh 56 thousand that's equal to how much 4 lakh 76 thousand 280 now on this 4 lakh 76 thousand 280 you have to again calculate the deposition at 37 percent 0 0.37 that's equal to uh, 1 lakh 76 thousand 223.6 223.6 okay so let's just subtract this directly 4 lakh 76 thousand 280 yeah 4 lakh 76 thousand 280 minus this that's equal to 3 lakh 56.4 you see there is a small difference of 56.4 that's because of the uh, rounding off because the percentage of depreciation came out to be you know such a, a long number right 37.0666 something so we didn't use that exact percentage that is why slight difference is there but almost it is equal to residual value that is equal to uh, 3 lakh yeah 
this is equal to 3 lakh almost equal to 3 lakh okay so that's the thing always remember this and this is the case in the straight line method also return down value at the end of useful life is equal to the residual value is that it? theoretically this will always happen but practically it might differ okay All right so now here i assume you have understood how to calculate the rate it's really simple you just have to follow this step if you are not getting it then just rewind a little bit and, and you know watch this again and yeah you will be able to do that and you understood this also now return on value at the end of useful life is equal to residual value we have proved this yeah we calculated the rate we used the rate in calculation and we found out the return down value the book value or the carrying value at the end of its useful life yeah at the end of its useful life at the end of third year it is equal to residual value is that clear simple and straightforward now let's just move on to the uh, to the problem okay let's see the problem now see here we have our problem of written down value method and this question is from the study material illustration 2 but of our series this is the third problem because previous two problems were on the straight line method okay so now this question is a very simple question actually actually we have solved this this is same like illustration one only just that here we have to apply written down value method and in this question we just have to apply the basic accounting treatment okay the accounting treatment where we do not maintain accumulated depreciation account or provision for depreciation okay just the basic one okay in the next video we'll see the you know comprehensive questions of wdb fine okay and see here let's read this jane brothers acquired a machine on 1st july 2018 okay this is the acquisition date purchase date at a cost of 14 lakh now this 14 lakh is the purchase price but you all know purchase price is not the cost of the asset you just have to see the entire picture there are many other things right so now see here and then they are saying and spent 1 lakh on its installation now this 1 lakh will become a part of cost of the asset 14 lakh plus 1 lakh why are we adding 1 lakh with 14 lakh and saying that it's a cost of the asset because this 1 lakh is directly connected directly connected with the acquisition of the asset yeah you have to make the asset available to use then only you can charge the depreciation so whatever you know expenses you incur to make the asset available to use yeah when you purchase the asset and when the asset is available to use in between this whatever expenses you incur all that is capitalized all that is added with the cost of the asset is that clear so this 14 plus 1 that's equal to 15 lakh 15 lakh is the cost of the asset and on this you have to charge the depreciation clear simple the firm writes off depreciation at 10 percent per annum every year okay the wdv rate is directly given to you okay the books are closed on 31st december every year this is the closing date closing date of the uh, business of this company right required what's the requirement show the machinery account on diminishing balance method yeah they can say reducing balance method return down value method you have to understand for the year 2018 and 2019 fine so let's start so we have to just prepare the machinery account over here so see how simple that would be machinery account an asset account yeah it is an asset account asset account means debit means plus credit means minus you all know that opening balance of this account will be on the debit side closing balance on the credit side yeah yes so let's begin so now first you have to record the uh, purchase so now machinery was purchased on 1st july 2018 now what's happening because of purchase understand this machinery is increasing because of the purchase yeah machinery value is increasing so machinery is getting debited because you have purchased now and you have paid the money through bank so to bank account 14 lakh simple machinery is getting debited because of bank 14 lakh clear this happened on 1st july and then this 1 lakh is also part of the cost of the machinery this 1 lakh isn't it so what's the general entry for this 1 lakh it's not installation expense to bank account no 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 you cannot record this as an expense you cannot treat this as revenue expenditure no you have to capitalize that you have to debit the machinery account okay as if you have purchased a small part of machinery something like that okay so that is why machinery account debit to bank account for that installation also machinery account debit to bank machinery value is increasing because of that installation to bank account one lakh or there was another alternative there's another alternative what you can also do is you can take this entirely at once also machinery is increasing machinery is getting debited because of you know you have purchased it through bank so to bank 15 lakh you can take the amount together in the bracket over here you can write purchase price plus installation 
that's also you can do is that clear fine so you understood how the posting will happen of the purchase now how will you charge the depreciation at the end of the year i have already explained you what you have to do see here this is the december 31st at the end of the year you all know we charge the depreciation at the end of the year so 2018 december 31st you have to look back you have to look back okay how many machines do i have yeah how many pp or tangible fixed asset do i have okay i have one one machinery 15 lakh is the cost okay 15 lakh is the cost for how long did i have it for how long now this is the date in which you have purchased sorry this is the year in which you have purchased the machinery and you have purchased the machinery in between the year that's on 1st july so you have to calculate from 1st july till december 31st how many months have passed july august september october november december six months have been passed so you can only charge six months depreciation you all know now we charge proportional depreciation if we have purchased or sold in between the year then in that year we charge proportional depreciation and that is the case over here in 2018 we have purchased a machine so for this machine we have to charge proportional depreciation for only six months okay so how the calculation will be calculation will be really simple take the cost of the asset that is 15 lakh into what is the rate 10 percent yeah 10 percent now see 10 percent is the rate now this is the annual rate if you just calculate now you will get annual depreciation yeah you will get annual depreciation you have to proportionate it into 6 divided by 12 that will give you 75,000 so 75,000 is the depreciation under WTV method okay 75,000 so now what's the logic of this posting because of depreciation there is a reduction in the value of an asset you all know that so machinery is getting credited machinery value is decreasing because of depreciation by depreciation account 75,000 and this has happened on December 31st clear simple and straightforward and then what will you do nothing else yeah no other transaction so you will close and balance the account so you will just balance the account yeah 14 plus 1 that's 15 lakh so 15 lakh on both the sides 15 minus 75 that's equal to 14 lakh 25 thousand this is what is balancing this is the balancing figure by balance carried down there is a gap over here now shortage gap so that gap has to be filled by the closing balance by balance carried down december 31st now in the next year yeah they have asked for 2019 also so in 2019 what will happen in 2019 this closing balance of 2018 will become opening balance yeah this will travel over here this will flow over here 2019 January 1st opening date two balance brought down 14 lakh 25 thousand this came from here okay and what is this this is the written down value of this machine this is the written down value or you can say carrying value book value yeah isn't it see here understand 15 lakh was the cost you calculated 75 thousand depreciation of 2018 proportionately so what is the written down value book value carrying value after deducting the depreciation it's 14 lakh 25 thousand isn't it 14 lakh 25 thousand so on this 14 lakh 25 thousand next you have to charge the depreciation of 10 percent okay so now let's just say you know year end came you have to charge the depreciation so how will you charge the depreciation i've told you this is how you will calculate but now how your logical mind should be yeah what should be there in your mind okay i want to charge the depreciation i have to charge the depreciation how many tangible fixed assets do I have? Okay, I have one, right. What is the cost? The cost is, sorry, not cost. This is not straight line method. What is the WDV of this, uh, you know, machine? The WDV is 14,25,000, the carrying value, the book value. On this, I have to charge the depreciation. What is the rate? 10% is the rate. For how long did I have this? I have this for complete 12 months. Okay, this is not the first year of purchase. For complete 12 months, I have this machine. So. I will just do this WDV into rate, WDV into rate, 14 lakh 25,000, sorry, I have taken wrong amount over here, 14 lakh 25,000 into 0 0.10, that's equal to 1 lakh 42,500, 1 lakh 42,500, that would be the depreciation. What is the logic of uh, this posting? Machinery value is decreasing because of depreciation, 1 lakh 42,500, clear, simple and straightforward, the same thing, the same logic. You will balance the account 14 lakh 25 is bigger so that uh, you have to write on both the side 14 lakh 25 14 lakh 25 then you have to subtract 14 lakh 25 thousand minus 1 lakh 42 thousand 500 that's equal to 
12 lakh 82500 isn't it see here let's calculate 14 lakh 25000 minus 1 lakh 42500 that's equal to that's equal to 12 lakh 82500 yeah 12 lakh 82500 that's the closing balance now this closing balance is the return on value so now what you have to do you cannot leave it like this you have to you know take this and show it over here and then leave it okay to balance b by d 12 lakh 82500 that's how you will be leaving this machinery account and then of course in this question they have not asked for depreciation but still let's understand how the depreciation account will be prepared so see here depreciation account is really simple account you all know it's an expense account yeah it's an expense account it has debit balance so debit means plus credit means minus and then expense and income account what do we do with them every year we close these accounts whatever amount they have in them we take that to profit and loss yeah every time we decrease the expense and income account and take the amount to profit and loss okay so how will you do this shortcut way shortcut ways you just have to see the machinery account okay in the basic accounting treatment you just have to see the machinery account depreciation is there in 2018 uh, in 2019 also depreciation is there how much amount 75,000 like 42,500 okay just do the cross posting in uh, depreciation two machinery two machinery uh, December 31st 2018 December 31st 2019 75,000 1 like 42,500 okay this is the cross posting you will do and then on the other side you have to reduce the depreciation you have to reduce the depreciation account yeah you have to cancel the depreciation account and take the balance to profit and loss by profit and loss 75,000 by profit and loss 142,500 simple as that okay now what's the logic okay apart from the cross posting that shortcut what's the logic over here the logic is depreciation is being recorded depreciation is an expense to record that you have to debit yeah depreciation account is getting debited because of machinery reduction in machinery because of reduction in machinery depreciation is increasing it is being recorded in the books of accounts because of machinery depreciation debit because of machinery 75000 depreciation debit depreciation is increasing because of machinery 142500 okay that's the logic is that clear so this is how you will be doing so what was the difference the only difference was when we calculated the depreciation over here we calculated 10% not on 15 lakh no 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 this is not straight line method we calculated on the wdv we calculate on the WDV. What is WDV? Cost minus accumulated depreciation. Whatever depreciation you have charged up till now. Up till here, we had charged only this 75,000 depreciation. So 15 lakh minus 75, that was 14 lakh 25. So on 14 lakh 25, you charge the depreciation in the second year. Is that clear? So this is how you have to solve this, right? So it's really simple and straightforward. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you have completely understood the concept of this WDV. If you have any doubt, then please comment down below or you can also contact me on Instagram. Okay, and the scan notes will be available on the Telegram channel Sahib Academy 7. Okay, so that's all. See you in the next video. Bye.